Warning, Prospect Watch is not your average hockey podcast, and that's okay with us. Our goal is to introduce you to stars in the making from all over the world. They may not be household names yet, but we assure you they will be soon enough. Welcome to Prospect Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next edition of Prospect Watch with your host, Lance Green. All right, guys. Hello and welcome to Prospect Watch, a podcast that focuses solely on the discovery and promotion of some of the best young talent in the world today. Um, I'm your host, of course, like Steele said, Lance Green. And Steele, how you doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. I am fired up. We got an amazing amazing talent sitting in here with us on the show tonight i am pretty excited because this week's special guest is none other than six foot one 198 pound defenseman kayshawn Aitchinson from the ohl's barry colts kayshawn how are you thank you so much for joining on the show yeah i'm good thank you thanks for having me yes 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 sir um all right guys so we're going to do a little getting familiar just in case you don't know um, or are not familiar with Kayshawn's game. Shame on you. Uh, because if you're anything like me and like that old school physical brand of hockey, you know, when men were really men, then you're going to love this gritty young defenseman. Because, uh, you know, I got to tell you, this guy right here is, uh, you know, my kind of guy. I, I, like I we like that. him. Right, like, right. We like him. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, he plays the game how it's supposed to be played, Steele. Uh, he's a defenseman who actually plays defense. Imagine that. So many, so many defensemen out there don't right now. They just are too focused on uh, scoring goals and that's it. But, um, you know, that's a rarity now. So he's a guy also who's happily will finish each and every check. All right. He wants to wear down the competition because he knows, you know, that it's going to pay off in the long run. And uh, here's a concept. He'll actually clear the front of the net so the goalie can see the shot that's being taken. Imagine that. Too many defensemen nowadays, guys, just let that guy sneak in behind him. And that's not what this kid's about, all right? Um, and here's perhaps my favorite uh, trait of his, um, that he's been known on you know, on occasion, maybe more than one occasion on a, any given night, uh, to be able to drop gloves with the guys and give them a little rock and sock and robots, uh, you know, maybe after mm. the guy laid a dirty hit on one of his teammates or anything like that. So, you know, yeah. the guy's going to hold players accountable. And this is what you want Love from uh, a defenseman, man. Just my kind of guy for sure. Steel, I'm worked up here. Why don't you get to asking this young man some questions? <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm excited. You see, can can you tell he's an old goalie? Right. Hey, Sean, right. Can you tell he's an old goalie? <laughs> a good oh, good right. defenseman on yeah, with right. us, you know. He loves good defensemen, right? And so that's that's one of our favorites. We love talking yes. to, to to great young talent, especially like yourself here. And 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 obviously, uh, you you got a fan here in Lance mm -hmm. and 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 me as well, you know, and and Prospect Watch for sure. So tell us, um, you know, who taught you how to play this way, or or is this something you kind of picked up from somebody that you watched or was there was there somebody out there that kind of led you into this little area of how you're playing this game and if so can i shake that person's hand <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i think it all roots from my uh, grandpa and my uncle they're big bruins fans and obviously you know they kind of play that style of game, style of game the big bad bruins so a lot of bruins games on uh my uncle he uh, played d3 and played junior A for the Rangers. So he was kind of playing that style of game and I looked up to him. So I think he just passed on the torch and I, I took it and ran with it. Okay. Right. There you go. Is that why you have the number you have? Uh, for Ray Bork. Yeah. There oh, okay. Go. There you go. Yeah, I mean, one of the best Bruins of all time. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, so can, that's, that's a good one. There you go. <laughs> right. And that kind of leads into my question. Uh, you know, when, it, when I see you out on the ice, I'm thinking of a guy that reminds me of Chris Pronger, Dustin Bufflin, and and Racco Gudas, like a 
big physical defenseman, can yeah. skate, you know, everything like that. But can you give us a name, and maybe you already did, of an NHL player that you perhaps modeled your game after or grew up watching and, and wanting to emulate? Yeah, uh, it's funny. It ties in, too, with uh, Charlie McAvoy of the Bruins. Ooh. I think he plays a really uh, strong game. I Love think that guy's game, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's good two-way, too. Like, you know, obviously I uh, pride myself on my defensive game, but, you know, when the opportunity arises, I feel like I have the skill level and IQ to make plays in the Ozone, too. Mm-hmm. So I think that was a good comparison. All right. I, I, you know, I can kind of see that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really, um, I, ever since he's come to the Bruins, I've really enjoyed watching him play, uh, there. And, and I, I do like his, his, he has a good defensive game. So that would be a really good player to look up to for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it it's still kind of early in the season and everything, you know what I mean? But could you give us something that maybe you worked on in the off season to maybe make your game a little better? coming into the season this year yeah um i worked on my skating a time this year just because you know you want to be able to being a defensive like a shutdown kind of guy you want to be able to skate with the top players and you know i think that was a big part of my game too just you know one of my strengths so i wanted to make it even better and have an upper hand on a lot of these top uh, forwards you know in my transition game retrieving pucks and then being able to skate with them backwards I'd have to agree with him, Lance. I think that mm-hmm. is part of his his strength there as a transition game and being able to to keep up with those guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely do. I think uh, you know he definitely surprises a lot of people with that um, a big strong guy that's able to skate so fluently um, and transition so so nicely from you know forward to backward to circling around you know on the power play or anything like that on on that blue line tiptoeing around that blue line for sure but um another strength of yours in my mind and probably most nhl scouts is your ability to be a shutdown defender like you said earlier and and what i mean by that uh, is that your coach can come to you and in, in, in uh, warm-ups and point to a particular player on the opposition and and say that's your guy tonight and <laughs> uh, you know i don't want to see him on the score sheet kind of thing like that but um You know, is that, you know, something that you kind of pride yourself in, Uh, (coughs) Porter Martone? Um, But, you know, would you agree with that? And, and, you know, is that something you you take pride in, in a sense? Because uh, I think you recently did it to one of the best players in the OHL. Uh, Yeah, I for sure take pride in it. I uh, look at my matchups before every game and, you know, kind of know who I'm going against and, you know, I always want to get the uh, the better hand and keep them off the score sheet and uh, have a good night that way. Yeah, for sure. It sounds like he does his homework, Lance. I I mean, I think he was doing it right before our uh, interview here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he does. Uh, yeah. You know, it's as much as is as, as on ice, um, you know, it's it's preparation and everything else before that. So exactly. So now I I, I got to ask you a question now. What did it feel like to put on your your country's colors and then get that gold medal put around your neck? What did that feel like for you? I don't even know if words can describe that. It was just it was it was an indescribable feeling, obviously. Like um just being able to wear the leaf and especially for the first time too, it, it meant so much to me. And then uh and then being able to win the gold medal and be a part be a part of such a special group and a group of guys, it was uh, you know something you could you can never trade, and it just makes you want to want to win more and more. Yeah, for sure, man. We were definitely watching that game, and uh, you know, um, was was definitely uh, paying attention for sure. Yeah. Did you like wear it around for like a week, solid, or <laughs> like you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. I didn't even take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good uh, homecoming uh, when you when you came back with that. Uh, I would imagine. Yeah, I think yeah. I had an indent on my neck from the yeah. whole time. Yeah, little little held forward <laughs> there from the weight of it for so long. That's I mean yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of World Juniors, can you uh, can you give me one thing that you were able to take away 
from that experience and that tournament that you learned that you kind of were able to incorporate into your game now? Uh, I think the big thing is what it takes to win. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people say they want to win. They want to win championships. Obviously, it's everyone's goal. But I think it takes a, a certain mindset and a select few people that can do it. And, um, you know, it's just the willingness, the determination, sacrifice, and um, even just the uh, the even kill kind of mindset. You know, in that final game, we were down um, in the third period, I think, with eight minutes left. And we get a big power play and it just, whether or not we have the power play or not, like we were in it the whole time. We didn't lose hope. And, you know, we kept going for one another and we were all happy for each other. So it was good. Yeah, it's exactly. tough. I mean, because you know some of these players, you know, going into the tournament, but uh, you really don't have a ton of time to come together as a team. Some of these other countries, especially overseas, play a lot more together on a regular, but uh, you guys being so busy and, you know, all your different leagues and all like that, it's a very short time to come together and, you know, create that team concept that you got to go out night after night and uh, battle. So, um, yeah, I mean, to have that adversity and uh, be able to overcome, you know, being down like that, that was an awesome game. I'm, you know, I can, I can remember that one for, for a while, I think for sure. Yeah. And I think it's also credits to like the staff and, all the leaders on that team just uh, being able to bring everyone together and you know we're all from different places but you know making sure we're doing team events we're learning about one another's like personal life so it just becomes kind of deeper than hockey so you can care for one another all right awesome awesome you know what i mean you probably you guys probably get to room together and all that kind of stuff and things like that during that time right yeah exactly right so there you go you get more team bonding that way too right so yeah. Now I'm going to I'm going to kind of hold your feet to the fire here a little bit. When when an elite player is coming down on you on the rush, what's what's running through your mind, man, about facing that player? I get excited. Uh, I think that's the matchup that I want and I want to be able to show everyone uh and show all the scouts uh what I can do against those top guys and you know, I I want to shut them down and you know, kind of make their life a living hell. <laughs> I love that answer. All right. <laughs> I mean, all right, all right. <laughs> right, a guy that's he's a gamer, man. He doesn't yeah, want to. He, he he doesn't want the easy route. He wants to, you know, beat the best. I like that in a guy, man, like for sure. The old sharp and steel, man. That's the there way to go. go. There you go. Exactly. All right, so break it down for us on a normal game day routine. Wake up. What, you know, what are you eating? What time do you head to the rink? What do you do once you're there, you know, all the way up to, you know, game time? Uh, my pregame routine is pretty detailed. Uh, we get to the rink at around 930. We're on the uh, on the ice for 10 for around 30 minutes. And then uh, I'm usually one of the last guys to leave uh, with Baudouin. And we'll go to like a pita pit, get something to eat, booster juice, go home, take a nap around 230 um wake up from the nap pick my suit before uh before my shower because i was i feel like i have to look good play good feel good right so um do that <laughs> and then uh i'll eat my chicken and rice with tzatziki um put the rest of my suit on and uh head to the rink for around 4 45 and then kind of just try and be a bubbly loose but also focused guy and uh a leader for the for the rest of the team all right, there you go. That, that's we're we're gonna stay on that same kind of wavelength here, Kayshawn, and we're gonna say this. Do you have any like, look, we understand hockey players are you know very like you said detailed. Do you have any like superstitions, rituals? Does does the right skate go on first? Do you tape your stick a certain way? Um, I always usually put on my left things before my right um we're getting ready and uh i have a handshake with every player on the team and before every period i uh squirt the bottle water into my mouth three times and then three times on the ice and then one time in the air <laughs> so do you have a different handshake for each guy or the same one no a different one for every guy oh, oh wow all right yeah. okay. that's very there you go yeah yeah 
All right. All right. Yeah. So if I was an NHL executive and I asked you in an interview to tell me what is the most underrated part of your game, what what would you think you would say? Um, I think I'd say, I think I'd say my IQ maybe just, okay. just because, um, I think I'm also a shutdown guy, but you know, I can produce offense and create chances in the offensive zone with, uh, finding seams and getting shots through and, and, uh, jumping in the play. All right. I mean, for sure. That's, that's definitely, uh, I, I see that kind of shine it through in your game for sure what kind of goals do you think you have for yourself or the team for this season um i think we have a great team so i'm really just kind of focused uh for team goals you know we want to be a top three team in the league this year through the regular season and then um just you know keep getting closer and closer because like i said before those those teams that win the championships are always the closest team. So uh, I think that's a big goal. And then obviously uh, go into the playoffs and win an OHL championship and then uh, keep the run going into the Memorial Cup and bring that home. Well, there you go. Okay. Lance, do you have anything else for this guy? No, man. I just. I just wish you the best of luck this season and the best of luck this summer. Uh, know that we'll be watching and, uh, you know, definitely want to see where you end up, but don't want to rush this season also. So um, good luck to you, sir. And definitely appreciate you stopping by and being on the show. Perfect. Thank you so much. It's one of those things where um, we've been very um, lucky uh, and blessed to be able to talk to some great talent and, Okay, Sean, we think that you're one of those great talents, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing um, how things are going to work out for you for this year. Um, you know, keep your nose to the grindstone and 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 keep it clean, right? Yeah. And and you will go far, man, for sure. Um, see a lot of uh, good potential, uh, a very high ceiling uh, for sure, man. So keep it steady, man. Keep it going. Uh, we're rooting for you, man. We're rooting for you for sure. Thank you very much for hopping on here. Lance, thank you very much for all the stuff that you do for Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Thanks to you folks out there for all of your likes and all your subscribes and everything like that, man. We really appreciate that. We got another good one here for you here uh, with this great guest here tonight. We will see you all on the next episode of Prospect Watch.